Hello guys, it's me Ray. Welcome to this DIY for phone cases. Today we're going to be painting this really cute blue decky in our phone case. It was so much fun making this one. It looks super cute and I hope you like the intro and the outro. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, for this case I'm going to be working with a translucent case, phone case that I got online. As you can see, it's not like super clean. It's because I'm kind of recycling my phone cases, like I paint one idea and then I remove the paint and then the next month I work on the same phone case instead of just having a bunch of them. If you prefer to work with a brand new, just, you know, it's up to you. But I'm going to just start with my white acrylic paint. Pretty much it's going to work like a primer or like a base for my color. I'm just going to give it a couple of coats with this one. Just make sure the whole thing is covered. And I'm working over a piece of a Ziploc bag actually and I'm using my brush for this. As far as for the paint that I'm using, I just use acrylic because it's like the one that I feel it works best for me. But if you want to use something else, some other paint, nail polish even, just go ahead and experience with whatever you have and see if it works for you. And then once I have everything covered, I'm just going to place my, at this point, wet still phone case on one of these nail polish bottles for it to rest and to dry. Okay, once that's done, I'm just going to be mixing some blue. Uh, I made a few mixes before, but they were just a bit too dark for what I wanted. The image I'm referring to, the ducky, is with a really like pastel blue, like real light blue. So you have to use more white than blue. And then I'm just going to go with the same brush that I did before and paint the whole thing, starting like from the front part of my phone case and then working my way all the way around. And because I have that white background, it's going to be easier to paint and the color is going to be much more vibrant. And I actually did two coats of this one. And then going to let it dry the same way that I did before over my um, nail polish bottles. And then once I have done that and everything is dry, make sure it's completely dry because if not your Sharpie, because we're going to be using Sharpie at the beginning, is going to be messy, the application. I started with the eyes because I wasn't sure of the placement of the eyes. And this is Sharpie thing is just so we can mark the area we're going to be painting at the end. So I'm just going to draw two circles in there. And again, I'm just uh, guiding myself from the image that I mentioned before to just uh, draw the whole face, basically. So then I'm just going to use a really thin brush and that I use for nail art and that I bought at a local nail art supply store, actually. But you can find them online as well. And I'm just going to be taking a basic jello. And I'm just going to first draw a line that is going to be kind of a like triangle, but you know, looking down, if that makes any sense. That is going to be my, uh, the peak, my duckies peak. The first thing that I'm going to do is kind of make like the outline of it. And then with a bigger brush, I'm switching to a bigger brush here so I can feel the whole thing. And that's pretty much it for like the peak, but I'm just going to give it a couple of coats for my jello to be really vibrant and pigmented. And then as far as for the eyes again, I'm just going to be using another really thin brush and I'm just going to pretty much go over my black just to secure the whole design in there, in my eyes. The reason I'm using black acrylic paint instead of just living with the Sharpie is because I feel like it bleeds a bit when I apply my final coat, which is in this case my satin um, finish and this is the one that I use and I like the finish of it a lot. It's up to you whether you want to have like a glossy finish or just a matte finish or nothing at all. But I feel like if you apply a top coat, it's going to look a bit better and the sign is going to last a bit longer. Plus, it's going to be a bit shiny in there, which is kind of cute. And yeah, I'm just going to give it a couple of coats and then wait for the whole thing to dry. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this one. I had so much fun making this one and I love, love, love the sign. I think it's super cute. It reminds me to a Sanrio character, actually. I can't remember which one but it kind of does. I just love the color combination of this one and I thought the original idea was pretty cute. So I will hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed my dancing in there. I'm just kind of showing you my taste in music, I guess. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more stuff and share it. Thank you so much for watching and take care. I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.